Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I'm out here by myself and it is extreme Wednesday. Um, and uh, so I decided that I would do a new challenge. I'm going to try and catch uh, my best five fish limit here in the bay. I'm going deep into the swamp because like I said, it is a very windy and I am searching for some new spots. I'm going to the far end of the bay and um, I'm gonna see what I can catch. Hopefully I can get into five decent sized fish, five decent sized bass and see how my day goes. Um, okay, let's get going. Get in the wet! Woo! Windy today, folks! Let's just give you a little bit of a break. I'm gonna pause you. Okay, so we are at the first spot, and as you can see here, it's not as windy. And that is because the wind is coming from like the northeast. Um, area and so we are near Turkey Point where it is very very sheltered here. I want to go in through this creek mouth because I when I was looking at Google Maps I saw a whole bunch of lily pad patches inside the creek but I don't know if I'm actually allowed to go into the creek mouth because I don't know what the signs say. I'm gonna go quickly check out those signs and that will determine where I fish first. Hopefully it's, we're allowed to go back here. Hunting, fishing, trapping, or trespassing, any purpose is strictly forbidden. Okay, so I can't go in this creek, unfortunately. That sucks, but that's okay. I can fish the mouth of this creek. I've got some moving baits that I can use, but I cannot go into the actual creek. Oh God, fish jumped. Oh, that scared the bejesus out of me. Oh. Well, that's a good sign. I don't know what species it was. It looked weird, it almost looked white. Like, completely white. I'm also gonna cast over there. That looks juicy over there. It's flat, calm water. Yeah, let's just spot walk here. And then I uh, will make my way to the mouth of the creek. I brought my big, huge push pole with me today, but I might not be using that because I can't find any big, huge lily pad patches. I'm gonna take both of my moving baits out. I've got shatter right here, and I have a swim jig. I've never really used a swim jig before, so this is gonna be fun. It's very weedless. I'm going to also put a craw on it to make it even more weedless. And you just slow roll it through the thick cover and weeds. I'm excited. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Look at that. Oh, I got to be quiet. I'm really, really, really loud. Got one ounce weight with my favorite craw. It's black. This one's black and with blue sparkles. Oh, oh your fish jump over there. Okay, what do I do? I should probably use my fish pole. Let's try this thing out. I've only ever used it once before and I really struggled. Oh gosh, that was loud. That's the exact opposite of what I'm trying to do. For those of you who don't know what a push pole is, this is what a push pole is. And how to use it is quite simple. Um, I could probably use my electric motor, but I want to be as quiet as possible getting through this thick, thick grass. And so I use my push pull to move me around. Wow, it's actually really deep. Wow, okay, yeah, I'm gonna shrug. Let's lift my motor up. Yes, keep going, keep going. Wow, I'm proud of myself. We barely moved, but hey, we moved. I really hurt my wrist yesterday skateboarding, so this is not helping the feeling process, but that's okay. Got it! 
no, no, no. Did I miss him? Nope, I got him. It's just a little guy, but hey, it's a fish, is it? Are you joking? It's a rock bass. Caught a rock bass in the jungle. Look at that. It's the smallest rock bass too. Okay, bye-bye. There he goes. Well, no fish at the first spot. It's been like an hour and a half and I fished it pretty thoroughly. I am going on a recon mission. I'm going to find some more spots like this one and we'll see if there are any fish there. Bye-bye. That's what Claire likes to do when she vlogs. She goes, Okay, let's go back to the chatterbait. Oh, look. Oh, fish. Yes! Yes, let's go finally. Woohoo! Small, but it's a fish. And it's a bass. <laughs> yes! Chatterbait. Bite. Yes, it's just, it's small, but it's a bass. Yeah! Woohoo! First bass of the day on the chatterbait. He's a little guy, but you know what? That's okay. So we're going to put him in the box and maybe later, if I catch bigger ones, I'll call him out. Maybe. Man, that fish wanted the, the chatterbait. It bit right beside the boat. Oh no! No! Oh, I have to go find that chatterbait. That was the only one I have left. Okay, so. Um, I got bit on the chatterbait and then my Texas rigged rhythm wave that was on the chatterbait um, wasn't Texas rigged anymore. And um, it kind of got caught, the hook got caught into the pain. And I pulled a little bit too hard. I probably should have went and got it. But I pulled a little bit too hard and my line snapped. So I'm going to be using the swim jig. I talked about it a little bit earlier, but um, I've never fished this before. I only did a couple casts this morning. So let's see what happens. No, oh. no, 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 no. No! Are you joking? Oh! I got bit off by a pike! That was the only swim jig I had! That sucks! Okay, what do I have with me? I've got a bunch of topwater frogs. I think I'd use this. You know what? I think I'm gonna use this. Well, I just broke off my swim jig to a pike, I'm assuming, because nothing could have broken it that easily. So I have got this swim bait on. And it's more of like, oh, this, oh yeah! No way! Literally first cast with the swim bait! Yeah, baby! This one was, it's a weightless swim bait, so almost a topwater bait kind of thing. Oh, it's a nicer one. Woohoo, it's a nicer one. Let's go. Yeah, baby! Fish number two on the swim bait. Let's go. First cast. I'm going to be using that for a while. Let's get him into the box with the other fish. That was a good choice, Avery. Woohoo! Yes! first cast with this like Texas rigged weightless well there's a little bit of a weight here wow <laughs> literally first cast come here fish fishy a bucket save the earth pick up plastic folks so that is what I'm doing. I'm picking up this bucket. There we go. <laughs> Caught the bucket. 
new bucket for myself. Put it back with the little bucket. Okay, frankly, that was a waste of time. So, um, yeah, the only thing I caught there was a bucket. Um, and um, I'm going to go to a lily patch that I've had a lot of confidence in um, in the past just to finish off the day because unfortunately I am running out of time. It is almost supper time. So let's get going. I'm gonna have to change the card on my chesty cam because it is almost out. Got him! Got him! Yeah, baby! First fish in the pads! <laughs> he hit that thing so hard. I'm gonna swing him in quickly. Yeah! Woohoo! My chesty is not on because unfortunately it overheated, but I am just excited to catch a fish in the pads. Third fish. Let's put them in the box. I don't have a lot of time left. The sun is setting, so we're just gonna put them in the box and uh, see if we can catch a couple more before my time is out. Let's put them in. Two more, two more, at least one more. No, one more, two, duh more. Actually, I want two. The key to flipping the pads, or fishing the pads, is you want to get them on top of the pads when you're reeling it in so that they don't get stuck. I've learned that today. Got him. Come on. Over top, over top, over top, over top. Yes! 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 Fish number four! Yeah, baby! Number four is on the chunk craw. Just a little guy, but hey, I am happy that I am hooking into fish. The sun is still setting. Let's get him into the box. Maybe we'll crack five. Okay, so it is, um, Sorry, my head's itchy. It is 8.30 and the sun has gone completely uh, down. And uh, it is, we are in twilight right now. And today, I only caught four. I was just shy of my goal. Um, but I have been grinding all day. It definitely was not one of my easiest days. Um, I started off in, in water that I had never fished and I caught two fish. Uh, quite, or right away pretty much, and then it got really slow. So I decided to go to a spot that I had confidence in, but that was a waste of time. I should have just came here, right close. It happens to be right close to home. And um, unfortunately, I did not make it to five, but I still had a great day, and I learned from my mistakes. So let's go release those fishies. Bye-bye. There he goes.